This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. This week, Lady Sings the Truth. Despite her 20th century fame, not a lot is known about Billie Holiday's real backstory. Indeed, when asked about claims in her own autobiography, she said, I never read that book. Lee Daniels, The United States versus Billie Holiday, may not get everything right, but it is on point concerning the unceasing FBI harassment she endured literally to her deathbed. It's debatable that they were motivated by her anti-lynching anthem, Strange Fruit, as posited here, but from what is known of J. Edgar Hoover, it can't be ruled out. Holiday, as portrayed here, is the epitome of a tortured artist. Despite possessing an amazing voice and loads of charisma, Holiday struggled with drug addiction, toxic partners, and bad decisions. Despite her faults, though, the racial and political targeting she endured was untoward. Racist FBI agent Harry Anslinger, a holdover from Prohibition, targets her under the guise of the war on drugs and the additional pretext of the Strange Fruit song. Adding to the plot is a black undercover FBI agent who befriends Holiday but ultimately betrays her. Watching this one, the thought occurs that at the writing stage, the producers may not have known what they had in their untested lead, Andra Day. She's an orange B singer not only with singing chops but with acting ability, portraying going from glamorous to strung out in a way that belies her experience. Known earlier, a better movie may have emerged, with more emphasis on Holiday's life and art and less on the politics. The recent Judas and the Black Messiah kind of just went there. Day is the real reason to watch this, and she's already won the Best Actress Golden Globe. The United States versus Billie Holiday likely takes the liberties many biopics do. Nonetheless, it's worth a watch. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. Catch up with us at TakeTwoMovieReview.com and feed us back on our channel on YouTube.